back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. And today we're going to talk about a topic that I mentioned in my last video, which is the mini bags that I, you know, recommend. And before we get started, why don't you grab your cup of coffee? I have mine right over here and let's dive right into this topic. I prepared a very detailed note right over here and yeah, let's talk about mini bags. In Chinese, uh, we call it, if you directly translate into English, small useless bags. So the bags that I'm going to talk about today, a phone cannot fit inside these bags. And I picked five brands that I want to talk about. And all of these bags are going to be below 1,500 US dollars. We don't want to pay a lot for these small bags. You can put your daily essentials in it. That's the criteria I'm looking at. And you can't put your phone inside. So just not your phone, but anything else apart from your phone, this bag can store it for you. With that in mind, let's start with the first brand and the first bag. So the first bag that I recommend and it's on my wish list as well is the Celine Triumph mini bag. The price of this bag is Hong Kong dollar 9,700 to 10,500 or US dollar 1,150 to 1,250. So if you look at the um, image of this bag and especially the side image of this bag, you can tell that this bag is quite thick. And that means you can put a lot of things in it. You can put your tissue in it. You can put your ear pods in it. You can even put your mints in it. And um, yeah, you just can't really fit a phone inside. However, if you're using the new Samsung Galaxy Flip, um, I'm pretty sure you can put that phone in this bag as well. This bag is from the very classic Celine Triumph bag, which is designed by the new creative director of Celine, Eddie Sliman. So it is probably the most iconic Celine bag for the past two, three years. And this mini bag of this collection offers a lot of color choices. Um, and that's the good thing about mini bags. You can always play it around with color. And if you get a bright color, it can sort of light up your whole look. And I know I mentioned about this concept before. There is one size for this bag um, that will look the best. Um, when I was talking about the Tory Burch Eleanor bag, if you haven't checked out that video, um, I will put a link up here. And in that video, I was talking about the um, Eleanor bag actually looks the, the best with the, um, the small version, not the medium version. I think for the Triumph bag collection, the mini version with the classic Triumph logo that he designed after he became the creative director looks um, the best. Anything bigger than the mini size, I do feel that the logo is a bit on the smaller side. This bag is definitely on my wish list and I do have a feeling that I might gonna buy this bag very soon. And if I do that, I will um, definitely do an unboxing with you guys together. And the second um, mini bag that I recommend is from Fendi. It is the Fendi Fendi Graphy Nano Bag. So the price for this bag is Hong Kong dollar 9,800 or US dollar 1,290. And again, by looking at this bag, you can tell it is quite thick. And then the thickness um, will allow you to put a decent amount of essentials in it. Of course, again, you can't put your phone in it. But I think it, the design of this bag is very interesting. I think it is fun that Fendi decided to put their logo at the bottom of the bag. It is kind of low profile. By just looking at the bag, you don't know a brand this bag is from. However, um, if you were using the bag or if you just, um, you know, accidentally show the bottom of the bag, people would see the Fendi logo at the bottom and people would be like, oh, it's actually from Fendi. Such a nice, cute little bag. And you know how I felt about luxury. I enjoy luxury items with design and it's not too on your face. For this bag, um, Fendi called it a, um, a charm. The model who is wearing this bag here is putting it on her waist. However, you can get straps from Fendi um, so that you can wear this bag crossbody. But the strap from Fendi can be costly. It can cost you up to a thousand US dollars to just get a strap. So I would recommend you to, to find some alternatives from Amazon or Taobao for a strap with a budget. The third bag um, that I recommend here is 
from Alexander McQueen. And it is the Alexander McQueen, the Curve Mini Bag. So when the Curve Bag was just released, it was very popular. Its design represents that kind of um, bucket bag that is different from the traditional design other um, creative house is doing. And I did went to the store and tried it on. However, I felt the regular size of the Curve Bag is a little bit too big, at least for me. And my height is 165 cm. So um, I do think for the majority of you know the ladies, this bag would look a little bit too big on you. That's when the mini size of this bag comes into sense because it still has exactly the same design and it's smaller. So you won't look that bulky on me and it can still fit uh, quite some essentials in it. Of course, you can't really put your phone inside but other than that, um, anything else, I think pretty much you can you can put inside. And just a quick note for you guys, don't buy this bag with full price. There's always discount on Farfetch and there's another website called Satire that I mentioned in my previous videos. They always have this bag in a cheaper price. So be sure to check these websites out before getting this bag. And one thing I love about this bag is that you can have a lot of different color combinations. You know, the cross strap in, on the back can be different from you know, the rest of, color of the bag. And my personal favorite is this white Alexander McQueen bag with um, the black strap. I think it looks casual and also have this cool vibe. And um, this color combination is very classic and it can be used with a lot of different types of outfits. So apart from the Celine Triumph mini bag, this bag is a second bag on my wish list that I really want to get. And the fourth luxury brand that I'm going to recommend to you guys today is Loewe. You guys know that um, I am a big fan of Loewe. I love almost all of the design from uh, Jonathan Anderson. And for the mini bag, I actually have an interesting recommendation to you guys. I recommend the Amazona bag and it's called the Nano Amazona Bag. When I was mentioning Loewe, I think some of you might think about the Loewe Elephant Mini Bag or the Panda Mini Bag. They even have a rabbit version, if I remember it correctly. Um, but I don't recommend these types of bags designed from Loewe. These are cute bags, but these are not versatile. And I think they are more for, for little girls not for grown-ups. That's, that's my personal opinion. Of course, you can um, disagree with me. But yeah, I would recommend the Nano Amazon bag. Um, not even the Nano Loewe puzzle bag, not the hammock bag, because I think these bags, they look nicer with a slightly bigger size, um, especially the Loewe puzzle. I think Loewe puzzle, the best size um, is the small size, the one that I have. And if you haven't checked out my review video, I would put a, link, put a link up here as well. Be sure to go and check it out. And then my favorite Nano Amazon bag is this one with um, the canvas anagram pattern and a leather, of course. Um, I really love the anagram pattern uh, from Loewe and I just think this bag is extremely cute, but it's extremely um, versatile. It can match with a lot of different styles that you have. And it comes with a surprisingly detachable chain strap. So you can actually remove this strap and use it for your Fenty Graphy Nano Bag if you want and save the money for that extra chain strap. And again, I think the thickness of this bag tells you already that you can put a lot of essential items in it. So last, the final brand that I want to talk about today is, of course, Chanel. So. To be honest, you guys probably guessed it already, I can't find any mini bags from Chanel that can fit into the budget of below 1,500 US dollars. So I actually don't recommend you to get any mini bags from Chanel because it just doesn't worth the money. I was browsing through their recent 2022-23 uh, fall winter collections and I found this cute clutch on chain. It looks very nice, it's from this collection and um, beautiful design, especially, you know, look at the details on the chain. However, 
the price just doesn't justify it at all. Um, so the retail price is Hong Kong dollar 16,600 or US dollar 2,225. So it's just way, 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 way more expensive. I will never spend this much money on a mini bag like this. But of course, if you have the money and if you really like Chanel's design, go ahead and get the bag because it is a beautiful bag and I love the chain details. So you, you might ask, there's no recommendation from you for um, Chanel for the mini bags. So I think what I would recommend is that I would recommend you guys to get those flap wallets, like the classic flap wallet from Chanel, and you just add a thin chain strap to it, make it a crossbody wallet, and I think that works much better than spending over 2000 US dollars and get a mini bag. And it is a very classic flap wallet, has the classic looks on it as well, and um, it's totally worth it much, much more. So lastly, um, I've talked so much about the luxury brands recommendations I have for the mini bags to you guys. And well, I do hope you guys find it helpful and can give you some uh, inspirations um, for your next purchase. I want to share with you the mini bag that my friend got me from Usify. So Usify is a designer brand uh, based in London. It is famous for its invention and um, newness. It has a few um, iconic styles as well. Um, you can find them on Instagrams. And today I want to talk about this bag that my friend gifted me from Usify. It is called the Usify Pretzel Top Handle Tote. It is in pink color. Look at how cute this bag is. Um, let me wear it on me so you guys can feel. So it's extremely small and cute bag. And obviously you can you can't put your phone inside. And um, I love pink. I mentioned about pink color bags with my in front of my friend for a lot of times. So she remembered it and then she got me this super cute mini bag. And I actually put a lot of things in it. I just want to show you guys that a mini bag um, can store a lot of items and let me take them out one by one so you guys would know that um, the pen potential of these bags. First, I put some mint in it and again, my card holder with a lot of card inside and even some cash. And then um, some tissue paper and a small lipstick and of course um, my earphones and lastly the key so yeah apart from phone actually all the other essentials um, this bag can store it for me and I enjoy using this bag a lot I wear it almost every weekend when I go out and hang out with my friends and you can wear it you know top handle or you can wear it crossbody so yeah a lot of different options to be honest, some are arguing that um, the fashion trend this year is the um, larger bags. Um, they are coming back after so many years. However, I do think that small bags are going to be the trend because we are so used to cashless payment. So we no longer need to bring these large wallet with us uh, when we go out. The majority of the time when, for example, when I go out, I just need to have my phone with me and a card holder with some basic um, ID card and um, a credit card, I guess, and my AirPod and some other essentials like a lipstick. And that's that's pretty much what I need. So I think that's going to be the trend because we just don't need to bring that many things when we're going out these days. Of course, uh, going to work is different. And um, if you need to bring a laptop with you for going to work, then that's gonna be another topic. So overall, that's the reason why I really wanna talk about this trend with you guys. And I myself is a big fan of these um, mini, nano, you know, small cute bags. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope I gave you some helpful information on these small useless handbags. And if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe and um, don't forget to hit like for today's video. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!